Yo, how's it going everyone? Lord Jesus here, back with another video, and today we're actually doing things a little different. We're making more of an educational slash tutorial video, and as you can see by the video description and the video title, it's focused on the Niantic Wayfair system. So we're going to be talking about things about how to review stops, how to nominate the stuff, and we're going to be focusing more on how to nominate them, because I think this is an essential uh, feature for people like you guys, who really want to look at nominating stops in your areas so that then you can make the game more enjoyable and you get more spins and quests in your areas. So I've actually got a special guest today and this is going to be a great one because I know a lot of you have been asking for this collaboration. So without further ado, I'm not going to spoil it until we cut to her, but I just want to thank her again for all the time that she's uh, made to help us with making this video and kind of giving us her knowledge on how to nominate stops. Without further ado, let's go to her and let's see what she got to tell us. Hi, my name is Christy, also known as Christy Green Eyes on Pokemon Go. I've been playing Pokemon Go since the release date four years ago, but nominating and reviewing Pokestops uh, I've been doing for about a year now since it came out. So some things that you want to consider when you are nominating are the S2 cells um, that are mapped on the earth or like the map. Um, Basically, we have the level 17 cells that are for the Pokestops, and we have level 14 cells um, based on the gyms. So for every two points that you have within a gym cell or a level 14, um, you get one gym and one Pokestop. Six points makes two gyms and four Pokestops, and 20 points makes three gyms and 17 Pokestops. Some things you may want to consider when you are nominating um, are what makes an eligible um, good quality candidate. So things uh, with a cool backstory, uh, a, a place in history or has educational value, a cool piece of art, a unique architecture, a hidden gem or hyper local hotspot. This, this one's a little tricky. I myself haven't had very good um, chance at getting things through um, with those but things like uh, really unique restaurants or um, like art galleries uh, things that you might not know unless you actually live at this place would know about something that you would want to take uh, someone from out of town to come see and show them say this is a really cool place that we have in our city or in our town public libraries are great candidates um, it's a nod to education and discovery um, something that Niantic really likes to push public places of worship some things that you may want to avoid when you are taking your photos for your um, candidates um, make sure that there is safe pedestrian access um, the whole point of uh, Wayfair and um, all the ingress games is that you're meant to be on foot and it should be safely accessed um, by being able to walk completely up to it not just near it so if it's behind a fence that's considered a no unfortunately try to avoid people being in the pictures when you are taking them um, if they are far away and they're not part of you know the focus of um, your candidate that's okay or if they're like sort of facing the other way and you can't actually see who it is that's considered okay too as long as they're not right there in the picture natural features are also considered a no um, if there is a plaque or an information sign for a natural feature like a waterfall or a pond that is absolutely okay and you can definitely uh, nominate that but the actual waterfall or the actual lake is considered a no. Please of course try to take the photos yourself pulling pictures off the internet and using them for your candidates um, is not allowed. That's frowned upon. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> candidates that are on private residential property if it's um, like a really cool fountain or a free little library that is at someone's house that's unfortunately not accepted um, but if it's somewhere like a park or um, a place of worship some somewhere like private or public property that's okay candidates that are no longer considered um, eligible are things like fire stations police stations because it can um, impede on the, the emergency vehicles getting out and, and doing their job any candidates that are considered eligible but on elementary or secondary schools are not eligible. So some common questions that people have asked me in the past about nominating it and trying to get things through faster is whether nominating them more than once improves the chances of it being accepted. Unfortunately the answer is no. Um, just nominating it once is enough because 
things are reviewed individually one at a time kind of at their own pace there isn't really any rhyme or reason to when things are uh, looked at in review it's just kind of a waiting game so as far as things getting accepted there there really isn't a way to know exactly how long it will take it's really just a matter of how many reviewers are in your area and as long as people are reviewing um, you know the the line gets shorter uh, or longer depending on whether people are, are nominating faster than people are reviewing but hopefully as long as people are reviewing things can get through um, sooner than later but there isn't really a, an exact timeline so here we are at Knightsbridge Park and we are beside a tennis court mm -hmm. they also have pickleball and some basketball that we can nominate today so gonna start by going over to the settings and scroll down a little bit and as long as you are level 40 you will see this option here that says player nominations and a big green button that says new pokestop it says seven every 14 days so new pokestop here's the map this is where we are i usually like to suggest putting the pin like at the edge of a court like this because they do want you to be able to completely walk up to the point um, but also so that you aren't possibly impeding on anyone actually playing if they're using the courts so just confirm the location here it says take a pokestop photo okay you want it to be nice and clear and maybe about so I'm gonna include both signs since it has all three things okay and for the supporting photo surroundings area you want to take a few big steps back so that you can see not just the nomination but that it is clear oops it is clear um, pedestrian access um, the gate is not locked the gate is simply there just for like the safety of the game but you can see the path leading up to it um, and of course the nets themselves okay there's the supporting photo so for the title all right night oops bridge oh gosh night's bridge park tennis slash pickleball <laughs> slash basketball court because that's what it is it's all three and in the description um, I usually like to say something like public access to um, recreational activities in the city of Brampton or something like that Okay, so this is a preview of what your reviewers will see and show why your nomination is important. Um, any other extra info that you might want to include here um, is if it's something that needs more information like an art piece or architecture, like if there's any additional like historical value or something like that. This is just a park. There isn't a lot more to say about it other than it's just, it encourages physical activity, um, something that Niantic does like to push and encourage um, as wayfinders. <laughs> so I'll say something like, um, encourages physical activity within the community and that's it submit wait a few moments thank you for your nomination you will receive an email with details shortly done so now that we have all that amazing information from Christy I thought why not try and use that information ourselves and try and make our own nomination here right so we're gonna go up to the settings here and because I'm level 40 I am allowed to use this feature as well so we're gonna be looking at this beautiful bridge right here as you all can see and what we're going to do is we're going to try our best to make that into a stop and have it as a nomination that will eventually be accepted. So we're going to start by looking at where to place it on our map. And we want to place it somewhere that's sort of easily accessible. So we're going to try and put it at the end of the map right here, closer to the road. 
so that then it's a bit easier to access there, okay? So we got a nice spot there, all right? So now I gotta take a photo of it, all right? So we're gonna try my best to try and get a nice little photo of it from a far further angle, okay? I'm not gonna worry about the little bike that's going on there, okay? We got a nice picture, at least I think it is. It's a nice picture here, all right? Use photo, yep, you can clearly see the bridge there. And this will be what will be used for the actual nomination itself. And I think that's pretty cool that you get to see your own pictures in the actual game when they come in. So now you can submit additional pictures. And for this part, I'm still a little bit confused on it because I'm not the greatest. But I was going to try and take some other pictures on the actual bridge itself. All right. That way we can actually see what different angles of the bridge would look like. Right. So if we're on it there. Right. And I think that's a nice one there. We got an extra picture of what they see. So now we got to name the bridge. And this is where I was probably going to struggle the most because I didn't know a lot about how to name stops based on it. But hopefully with my knowledge here now from Christy, it's a little better now. So if we're looking at it in terms of where it is and what the bridge is, we would put Knightsbridge Pedestrian Bridge. That's what I would put. There we go. And hopefully I've spelled everything correct. If not, then might be issues in the future. But hopefully, you know, that's how we spell it all. Now that we have our pictures all set up, it's gonna ask us for the description. And for this one specifically, I think it'd be appropriate if I put pedestrian walkway uh, as part of the Knightsbridge Park, as part of the Chinkuzi Trail. So I'm gonna type that all out for you guys. Okay, so just give me a second here. All right, we got this all typed out. So we're gonna finalize it. Final answer is pedestrian walkway in Knightsbridge Park as part of the Chinkuzi Trail. Pretty appropriate, right? As I think. And it's gonna ask us to show the preview of everything. We're gonna confirm that. And then it's gonna ask us for additional information as to why your nomination is important. And I'm just gonna put there pedestrian walkway. All right, that's how we're gonna end this little nomination here, right? It's a pedestrian walkway. It's making it accessible for people to get around the park. And boom, we got it. Submit, just give it a second to load. And there we go, we'll get emails shortly on more details. And that is it. There you go, guys. Hopefully, uh, you know, that's a bit helpful for you guys in terms of how to nominate them in your game, and hopefully soon enough, you'll be able to do it yourselves, right? back home and again I just want to give a huge thank you to Christy for joining us on the channel again uh, she did an amazing job making sure that we all are clear and understanding how to actually nominate stops so now you sort of have this resource in order to nominate your own stops also before I forget Christy actually has her own YouTube channel as well so you definitely should go check that out the name of it is Christy Green Eyes Pokey Piano so check out the links in the description below I will ask, I will link it for sure and she does mostly Pokemon piano music, so she looks at some of the Pokemon themes in the first generation right now. And she actually plays the music that's played in those games. So I definitely recommend you check it out because I personally love the music she makes. And I definitely have watched every single one as well. So go check it out. And who knows, maybe you'll actually like her channel. So there is one more thing that I did want to mention. And that is in terms of reviewing stops. So I will put a link in the description for the actual Niantic Wayfair website where you can make an account and you can actually link it with your Pokemon Go account so you can start reviewing all these different submissions that other people send as long as they make criteria. Now there is a test you do have to fill out for it that'll actually qualify you to be a reviewer of the stops because they only want people who actually are 
you know, qualified to do the job to actually review stuff. So I'll put that in the description and check it out if you would like to know more information. And who knows, maybe Christy and I will make another video on that topic. If we hit 50 likes or more, then we'll make the video. So I will definitely be keeping an eye out for it, all right? So thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to boom, hit the like button, click the button down below to subscribe to the channel, have it beside it, so you know if I want to put in new videos. I've been Lord360, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. And it says to add a description. Okay, well maybe I didn't learn as much as I'd hoped to. <laughs>